Hi there and welcome back to the Smart English Coach podcast. I'm talking to Anne Haggerson about speaking fluently in English exams. Now, obviously, English exams are really stressful situations because you know that someone is evaluating your English. And that's why I'm really happy that Anne is going to be talking about fluency in exams at the English Fluency Summit. Welcome, Anne. Hi, thank you so much, Claire, for having me on today. I'm so gr grateful to be here and to speak with all of you and share some tips and ideas for improving your fluency, especially for speaking exams like TOEFL, IELTS, and the Cambridge exam. So hopefully this will be useful for you. Well, thank you so much for joining us, Anne, because obviously exams are super stressful. And in fact, your talk at the Fluency Summit is actually called Fluency for TOEFL, three tips to ace TOEFL speaking. Now, obviously, you can't talk about all of your tips now, but I was wondering if you could share just one tip. How can people speak more fluently in the TOEFL exam or, in fact, any of the other English exams? Yes. So I have a really concrete kind of specific tip that I think uh, you can already get started doing. So I've designed alongside with another uh, professor in the United States, this course on a speaking app called the Eduling Speak app. And we'll share the information with you as well and the link to download it. And the app is such a useful way to practice for the speaking exam because you can, for example, set a notification that will tell you, okay, at 10 a.m. it's time for you to do some speaking practice. And you can kind of go in, there'll be a prompt for you to respond to that is aligned with the question that you would find on the TOEFL exam or on the IELTS exam, for example, and then you could record your answer. And what's so awesome about this app is that it turns uh, speech into text. So you can then see the transcript and look at the, uh, you can listen to the recording again and, and kind of see what you said. And then it might give you some artificial intelligence, some AI feedback so that you could see like, oh, how can I improve this? So the app is a kind of a fantastic way to really make fluency training for exams fun, something that feels lighter, kind of like a game, but it's kind of, you know, something that could be part of your daily routine. You don't depend on, for example, uh, another person necessarily. You could just use the app to to help you. So I think it's an amazing uh, <laughs> way to practice for these speaking exams. And a lot of people don't realize that it exists. So I, I think it's a good, it's a good way to get started. I think it sounds absolutely wonderful for different reasons. So I like the way that it gives you the notification that it reminds you. So of course, mm -hmm. that's kind of habit building, isn't it? And we talk a lot yeah. about creating good habits. Yeah. Um, and so you might want to put the habit after a habit, habit that you already traditionally do every day. So like, okay, after I make my coffee or, you know, something that you do on a daily basis at a certain time, then you could have that notification go off and then it will remind you. So it's already kind of incorporated into your routine in a way that uh, helps your brain also get used to it. Yeah, exactly. It helps to prepare you for, okay, now it's time for my exam preparation. And I love the way also that it um, actually translates your speech into text. Because yeah. very often when you're in an exam, you don't remember what you say, do you? You just get the sense, oh, that was okay, or mm, I'm not sure about that. Mm -hmm. But when you can actually see what you have said, I think mm -hmm. that is so helpful. Yes, exactly. You might notice, oh, I use this verb like five times, you know, and then you can see the repetition. Oh, maybe I could say it this way. If you see that you're using certain adjectives or you're over or you're not using any transitional words, for example, then you start noticing it. So a lot of times with exam preparation, it's important to practice, but to also reflect on what you are producing. So the reflection process is part of the app. It's built into the app. So it really helps you become more aware and it helps you make progress, I think, more quickly. 
Yeah, interesting that you mentioned this thing about, oh, I've used the same verb five times. That yeah. is definitely something that certainly as examiners, we listen out for, don't we? We we always like yeah. to see a kind of a, a, a breadth of, you know, a, a wide range of vocabulary, especially at the at the higher levels. And let me know a little bit more about the feedback you get with this app then. Did you say it's AI feedback? Yeah, so for example, the AI will show you the transcript and then perhaps it will give you some suggestions. Um, and also you could like, it might ask you about, um, do you prefer to study at a library or in your home, for example? So then you would record your response and it will speak back to you like, oh, that's interesting. You could also say it like this and it will give you some ideas of how you could also respond. So the app works in a very multimodal way. It already is connected to voice. It's connected to, it could chat with you as well or just give you a voice response. So I think it's really interesting. It's an interesting way to interact. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I like that flexibility because of course some exams you do have the examiner in front of you like in the Cambridge or the IELTS mm -hmm. exams. So the the app can um, sort of take that role. But obviously in the TOEFL exam, you don't have anyone in front of you, do you? Yeah, you're just speaking to a screen. You're speaking to a computer. So the truth is that you kind of need to get used to speaking to a computer for this exam. Uh, I know it's not the ideal scenario. I think I would prefer to speak to an examiner, honestly. But in the case of the TOEFL, you do need to get used to that. Yeah. Just absolutely. speaking to a robot, you know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Brilliant. So but another thing I wanted to mention about the app is that you can also listen to a lecture that a professor gives, which is part of the TOEFL speaking exam. And then you can go in and look at the transcript of the lecture and it points out certain grammatical um, points or phrases or certain verb uses so that you can look at the transcript and see and notice certain things about the vocabulary and grammar and punctuation and things like that. So it's also kind of use, it's very unique in that way. There are a lot of different activities you can do with vocabulary and grammar in the app. So I think it's useful on multiple levels. Excellent. Yes, of course, that's that is part of the speaking, isn't it, where you yeah. have to listen and then you have to yes. give your responses. So actually being able to understand um, what the lecturer has said is super yes. helpful. Yes, and take notes and so forth. Yeah. Yes, yes. So a, a really, really thorough preparation then for the TOEFL speaking. Exactly. And in, in fact, I would imagine that the, the speaking is perhaps the most stressful part of the TOEFL yeah. exam. Well, it's extremely stressful. I mean, what it's so much pressure because you really are only speaking for like three minutes and 45 seconds because you're listening, you're taking notes, you're reading. It's an integrated speaking exam. You're not just speaking for 16 minutes or something like that. So really in those three or four minutes, you have to be really pre well prepared and ready for it. And so that's why practice is such a key element. And that's why I think practicing on an app kind of helps take off some of that pressure and makes it a less stressful experience. And of course, it means you don't have to hire a teacher because the app is doing a lot of that work for you. Yeah, but I mean, I don't want to sway people away from hiring mm -hmm. teachers. I think a teacher is also highly motivating because sometimes if you're just working um, with the computer or an app, Yes, but maybe in combination with someone mm -hmm. like a coach who is pushing you along or who can give you more personalized like contact or, or feedback. I think both, honestly. But yeah, a lot of people may want to just choose to work with the app. <laughs> right. Lovely. So we, we want to still be relevant and useful. The teachers are still important is my point. Oh, no, I didn't want to say that we're not important, but I think for people who are, are looking for that extra bit of practice, for that yeah. extra bit of preparation, this app sounds yeah. absolutely amazing. So just to remind everyone then, Anne's going to be giving you three fantastic tips for fluent speaking in exams. And one of her tips was to use this app. And I will share details of that with you. But once again, Anne, thank you so much for coming on to talk about your um, presentation at the summit. And I'm really, really looking forward to it. 
Yes, thank you so much. I can't wait uh, to see you all on Friday. And I look forward to it. Take care, everyone. I look forward to seeing you there. Thanks, Anne.